Speaking of Caitlin, she joins us now in oh, Studio B. Crazy. One of our great dual sport athletes. What's up? Hey, guys. How you doing? <laughs> good. Uh, good, but not as good as you. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> it's been a good week, right? You yeah. leave the court at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. the uh, seconds winding down, and you flash a five <laughs> into the stands. Now, that had significant meaning because that means five West Coast Conference championships, four in softball, one in basketball. And uh, you, you called this in October. Yeah. How did it feel when it came to fruition? It was a great feeling. I was so pumped when Judd called me out that last time to get some high, like high fives from the bench and everything. It was, I don't even know how to explain it. It was seriously so crazy. And you have five ranks because you're married too. Yeah. Right. Six so now. six now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is one more ring than Jennifer Lopez. She's been engaged <laughs> five times. Right. So you have as many as Tom Brady now. Um, d describe to us when you thought, hey, what if I played basketball? Like, what was this process like? Because. We know you as the softball player, right? right? Four, four titles, mm -hmm. West Coast Conference Player of the Year. You were awesome. So when were you like, hey, I didn't redshirt, so maybe I could play another sport? Yeah. Um, it was like, it was always kind of a joke in like high school. Like my family would always joke like, you should play both in, at college. And like, I was just like, no, like I'm, I'm going to choose one. Like that's crazy. But then my like junior year and end of my senior year or middle, I went to Brian Santiago and I was like, what are the odds that they would even give me a chance? And he's like, I mean, I could talk to him. And so he did. He got me in contact with Dan Nielsen. And they remembered me from high school and having played and had like a decent high school career. And they said that I could try out. And so that's what I did. So when did you try out? Uh, June. It was two weeks after we lost out of the NCAAs for softball. And you did you feel like you did really well in that moment? Or did, when did you find out you it made was it? Like, it wasn't like a, here's a try. I was kind of just go play pick up with the girls and we'll see like what the feedback is and stuff like that. And after just two days, they said they rostered me. So Wow, <laughs> it took all of two days. <laughs> okay, how much basketball were you playing leading up to that? Not a ton. Like just here and there with like my husband had played in high school. So we get with our friends sometimes and go to like the church and play yep. or like the rec. But I hadn't played a serious game of basketball since I lost out my senior year of high school. Wow. So, so you make it two days later. Are you, like, thrilled? Are you nervous? What, what are you feeling? I was super excited. I was, like, really going into it. I was like, I'll take whatever they give me, but I really just want to learn. Like, I had to be here for another year because it was going to take me five years to graduate because I wasn't able to take some classes during the softball season. What, were and, you busy or something? Yeah, I was just a little busy. <laughs> <laughs> but And so when they, like, gave me the opportunity, I was like, that's great. It'll fill my time. I have a, a year to graduate, and... I can learn something and like maybe, maybe I can turn it into something. But I was just there to learn and have fun and I was really lucky, I guess. Wow. It's one thing to make the team and be rostered. Like, wow, that's impressive. It's another thing to start <laughs> in the West Coast Conference tournament and championship game and contribute the way that you did. When did you start to think, hey, I, I might actually be able to make a difference for this team? It was probably like, September or October-ish time when I finally started feeling like I remembered how to play basketball. It took me a while to feel like normal again in basketball. And I was talking to one of the coaches and I just asked, I was like, I can tell that like I'm not on like a complete lower level than these people, but like what is it going to take for me to have the possibility to play? And he was completely shaming. He's like, well, you're a walk-on, so it'll be hard. And I was like, I get that. And he's like, we just need somebody that can defend. You can't be a liability out there. And so that's what I did. I From that day forward, I was like, okay, I'm going to play defense. And that's really what put me on the court is my defense. So you found your role, which is yeah. important, I think, in athletics. A lot of people think, I want to be the leading scorer. I want to be the star. Like, you can still be on the team and mm -hmm. have a role. And, that, and that's important. You yeah. found, I guess, value in your role as well. Yeah. And you didn't have to shoot a ton. But at Gonzaga, you <laughs> shot a little bit earlier. Didn't you make a couple threes yeah. early in that game? Yeah, a couple. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so describe to us, too, with this guard line, which we uh, f found out uh, Shaylee Gonzalez said, we call ourselves the Splash yep. Sisters. Uh -huh. I want to say sis does, just to <laughs> add a little bit there. But you you fit into that because BYU goes small. You're this right. fourth guard on the court. Mm -hmm. So how did you make sure that you blended into that mix? Because they're going to they're gonna launch those threes, right? Right, yeah. So they had already proven that they deserve to be on the court. And so when I started playing, my job was – to get them open, and in doing so, it gets me open. You know, when you set a hard screen, they get open, but a lot of the time, you get open, too. So that's kind of just what I... I knew I was small, so I'm not going to go post up these six-foot-something girls, and so I just 
screen away and pop all the time. That's my job. So You remind me of the way that Ashley Garfield played mm-hmm. basketball at BYU. So having her as a coach on this staff, how has that helped you kind of implement as a smaller forward yeah. in this lineup? She's actually helped me a lot. She's talked to me a lot about how, like, it really is just heart. Like, you can't look at them and be intimidated. Like, you know how strong you are and, like, play to your strengths. Make the fours have to run the court a lot because they'll get tired and push around, don't get pushed around and stuff like that. And it's actually been really nice to have her have that experience for me. Describe to us what it's like to beat Gonzaga three times. <laughs> and, and obviously there were some major injuries there in that last yeah. game, but they, they had to play regardless. Mm-hmm. You guys beat them three times. Yeah. And they were in the top 13 all three. You know, it's really fun because, like, when I was on the softball team, we had beat some top 25 teams before. And, like, beating them once with softball, it's like, whoa. But we had to play these guys three times, which is, like, when you're looking at that, you're like, whew, like three times. But when we won the first time in, like, last second – Won the second time in, like, a pretty good, like, ending, but then just, like, kind of blew him out this last time. It's just, like, it just goes to show how good of a team we actually are and that we can be in the top 25. How are your nerves on the basketball court compared to on the hot corner playing third base (laughs) in softball? It's a lot. I got a lot more nerves in softball because the pace is slower and the pressure is all on you. Like, when you're in the batter's box, it's you. But with the basketball, it's like right before the game, I'm a little nervous. But then when it starts, like it's so high intensity that that kind of goes away. So I would say I was probably more nervous with softball than I ever was with basketball. Just different. Yeah, it's one on nine. It's like yeah. a weird deal. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's sort of one on one, but one on nine. Yeah. Um, at a minimum, this was going to be a free trip to Europe, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> right? Liter- I literally you, you said really that. Wanted to play basketball. You, you make the team in June. You're like, sweet, I'm going to like yeah. Vienna, right? Uh-huh. Um, but it turned into more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, more than that. So how do you kind of? And it's not over. You go yeah. to the NCAA tournament. You'll find out Monday. Yeah. Um, how would you uh, summarize kind of this whole experience? Because you've had some incredible memories in one year. Yeah, for sure. Like you said, I literally had said that before. Like when we went to Europe, I was like, hey, if I never play it, that was worth it. That trip <laughs> was awesome. But I don't know. It's like, I don't even know how to summarize it. It's been just like amazing to be with these girls and be with this team. Because at one point I was really nervous to join the team because I was like, what if I was them? And this girl just was like, yeah, I can play. And I'd be like, you can play? like, <laughs> But they've been so nice and so welcoming. So it seriously has just been like a straight uphill ride the whole time. It's been so amazing. Do you have any eligibility left in any other women's yeah, sports? Can you, play, can you play libero in volleyball or something, <laughs> outside hitter? Yeah. I don't think they want me. <laughs> and so what's the next thing for you? Graduate in April? Mm-hmm. Yep, I'll graduate in April. And I'm doing broadcast journalism. So Yeah, you are. Yep, so you guys could hire me if you'd like. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But just, yeah, hopefully find a career and go from there. What do you want to do with broadcast journalism? You want to be on, you want to be in front of the camera or behind? Um, I'm, Let's talk about it on air. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's scary. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I would like to be a talent on the show. You know but, the word already. That's yeah, <laughs> but I would like to produce as well. I'm kind of open to anything. I've been so busy with sports that I, I haven't got put into that world quite yeah, yet, yeah. but hopefully that happens. Yeah, let's chat. Yeah. Well, at some real. point when you stop playing and yeah. you want to talk about others playing sports, uh-huh. then, uh, yeah, that, that's a conversation for sure. Here's what yeah. happens. We're not good enough, so now we talk about it. <laughs> yeah. You are good enough. You are still playing, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Do you miss softball? Do you watch it at all? Yeah, I miss it a lot, and I've talked to a few of the girls and the coaches throughout the season so far in – I really do miss the dirt, and I miss my glove, and I miss hitting, and there's nothing like hitting a home run. That feeling is – but basketball has been able to keep my mind off it, which is really good. I think I'd be struggling a little bit more if I hadn't have played basketball. So. If you're just a student walking around. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, yeah. Well, you hit a proverbial home run with your team in Las Vegas <laughs> winning the West Coast Conference Championship. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Congratulations Thank again. You. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the approaching seeding and NCAA tournament. Yeah, you're going to be playing next uh, Saturday. Yep. So we'll find out where. Yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully it's like a six seed, you know, <laughs> seven, eight. We'll see. Yeah, so. for real. Oh, what seed do you want, by the way? I, do you have a preference? No. I, I'm new to the whole basketball thing, so <laughs> I'm like, I watched like, the tournament, but I was like, um, um, yeah, I was like, it's not a tournament of four, what? Okay. It's but, not double elimination? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not picky. I think we can beat almost anybody, so. Excited to watch it. Love the confidence. Yeah. Thanks, Caitlin. And I think Thank we've you. had you sign this yes, particular she... flag already, right? We had you in at I some point in the last. 
No? You haven't signed the Sailor Coog? Hey, I don't think so. Well, she might have signed it as a softball player. Let's oh, get the that's true. Let's get the I, basketball You need a number version. 12 up there instead of a yeah. number 18. Okay. Why 12, right. by the way? Make it happen. Okay. Were you 12 in softball? I was 18 in softball. So why 12 in basketball? Because you can't be 18 in basketball. Hmm. Yeah, you have to be under 5. So 12 was the next best thing. Yep. <laughs> that's <laughs> what it was in high school. So. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you. And John Stockton, right? <laughs> and you played against uh, the daughter, Laura.